Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Apple One to One. This is Will. We're going to go into a, a newer type of video that we haven't done in a while, but we're going to talk about focus modes uh, directly inside of your iPhone and iPad. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you was some of the something I just recently started working with, and I can't believe I haven't used this yet. But I want to show you an example of what a focus mode is, how to create one, and show you on camera live editing one, uh, and then you can see the difference. So just to show you right now, this is my normal screen, everyday screen. I'm going to switch it, go to focus, and I'm going to change it to work. And when I do that, I now have a completely different arranged of apps here. Also, notifications are different here as well. So some things have changed here on my phone. If I switch it and I decide I want to turn on a focus mode and go to wedding, now wedding focus mode has changed, and there are different things about this set up and this is a very powerful feature that i have not taken advantage of i'm going to quickly go into settings and i'm going to go to focus we actually have a focus mode here called personal and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this into the into my wet my new wedding one i'm going to do it live here on camera so we're going to go and we're going to do this though on the ipad since i want to show you what i'm doing uh, at the same time talking to the audience. Now, there are features on the iPad that don't work here on the phone. For example, the Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch face can actually be changed based on the focus mode, which is great. So like when I go to a wedding, I want a certain focus mode that I want the watch face to be. And I actually change it manually. And now that I don't have to do that anymore, uh, I can actually go here to edit choose the modular, which is the one I like to use when I'm at a wedding, and that makes things so much easier. So we're going to do that now, but we're going to do it on the iPad, so that way you can see it live on camera. All right, everyone, this is Will. I'm here uh, showing you my view of my iPad right here at the same time I'll be talking to you. You can just kind of eyeball along as I'm going along here talking about this video about focus mode. So we're going to set up a, a new focus mode. So I'm going to go to personal, and we're going to change this around. So I'm going to edit this, and we're going to give it a unique name. So I'm going to call it, uh, since I want to give it a red, uh, we'll just do that. So I guess I can't really edit the name, but that's fine. Whatever, Apple, you can do what you want. So it says allow notifications. So during a focus mode, I want to be able to choose who want who I want to talk to. So I'm going to put like the, the it does suggest the people that n are normal. So obviously the people who I talk to the most are my family. So I'm going to put them inside of this and I'm going to allow uh, notifications. But I also have an option for silent. So but I'm going to allow this just for those people and allow calls from my favorites and allow repeated calls. So during a wedding, whenever I'm working, I don't want to have be distracted by anything else. So these are the only people I want to call me when I have this problem or whenever I'm with a wedding with a bride or a groom. So under apps now, we're going to decide what notifications do I want items from. Well, to be honest, during a wedding, I really don't want too many notifications. I really am not interested in that. So... You could add, I'm going to silent notifications from certain things. So I could choose what apps I want. But most of the time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow uh, notifications. Um, calendar is probably a big one for me because I, I, during the event, I'm, I'm recording as well as incoming mail that I might receive. Uh, and that's really it. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't want to go through and add more than this because that's the only notifications I care about during a wedding. Uh, and then also... Allow apps to, in your allowed list to send notifications marked as time sensitivity immediately. So that means that I need them immediately to be sent to me. So I'm going to turn that feature on. Now we're going to talk about customizing the screen. This is kind of like the fun part. So you could choose your very own lock screen. Whatever lock screen you would like to choose from, you could choose from a gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and go to gallery, and I'm going to choose all these different gallery options that they have. Uh, whatever I want to choose from. So whatever I want to pick, so I'm going to choose a color, and then it's asking me, add widgets in landscape and portrait. You can set up a unique set of widgets in both landscape and portrait mode. Uh, just for this example, I'm going to just stick with this. Uh, so what widgets do I need? Well, batteries, I definitely want to have that, so I'm just going to drag that. Uh, calendar, I want to ha have that person's information on here, so I'm just going to drag my event here as a widget. 
the clock is usually right in the front, so I don't usually need that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Weather. Oh, very important throughout a weather wedding day, that's for sure. Uh, so you could add like certain thing, different widgets here that they have. Uh, I really care about today's weather, so I'm going to just tack on this weather right here and drag it right over there. All right, so now I've added my widgets there. Uh, and I'm pretty much done with the widgets on that one. And then I'm going to choose my color background. So maybe I don't like this background color. And my company's more of red, so I'm going to choose a red color that I like to use. I'm not going to care so much about the time and all that information. The, the, I could also change the weather widget up here if I want to. I'm just going to stick with what I have right now. This is pretty good. And then I'm going to add it. And now it's asking me, do I want to set as a wallpaper pair or customize the home screen? So if I go to customize home screen, now I can I have a blank canvas of a of a screen that I want to use. So what colors do I want? Very customizable here for that. But I'm pretty much done. That's pretty much what I want my home screen to be. Now I get the option to create a actual page. So what items do I need to have on my page? So I'm going to tap. And now I get to edit the apps. I get to edit this the way I want. What I want this to look like. So now it's asking me what apps do I use on a daily basis. Well, I'm going to uncheck some of these, but I use Instagram. I use weather. I don't use Twitter. I use calendar. Uh, I don't use books. I don't use music. So some of these ones that they're popping up here, I don't necessarily need. Photos, yes, because I'm going to access them. Camera, definitely I'm going to access that. Uh, Slack, I don't need that during this. And then notes because sometimes I do take notes at weddings and then I get to go through all my different apps that I want to work with and what I need to have on here sometimes my wedding pro so if I want to find a contact and I want that to be on the main page I could do that uh, Safari yeah sure I want to have my, my web browser available to me uh, and that's pretty much it I mean otherwise I'll just add some mail messages anything like that I'm going to hit done so now what this has done is it's now edited a page and what this now allows me to do is it customizes it. I'm going to hit add. And uh, now that is a customized page that will show up. And you'll see when I change the focus mode what that will do. Turn on smart activation. So if you're going, this is a good one for work. So when you're at a certain spot, maybe you want the focus mode to be turned on automatically. So I'm just going to tap on it, use smart activation, and then it says automatically turn on personal focus at relevant times throughout the day based on signals like location, app, and usage. So I could do that, or I can also add a schedule. So schedule lets you decide time, location, and app. So when I go to a wedding, a lot of times, the I'm not going to lie, the, the iPhone doesn't know where I'm at. So, uh, But it can also trigger it by a certain app. So if I open the camera app, it'll turn on that focus mode so that's one thing while using the camera the focus mode changes because of that uh, but i can also just delete that schedule and then if you go to what i think is more popular is location this is great for the work focus so if i go to location and i say here's my work turn on the focus mode and then i can spread this out you know because my campus is a little big and then hit done so when i get to work and this happens now my focus mode is turned on by default which is really great so that way i don't have to turn it on myself it just knows and then we have how you want to customize apps and device behaviors when focus is on so when i go here it has a few cool features one of them low power mode i love having low power mode on i'm going to absolutely turn that feature on and add that widget uh, what I like about that is it'll turn off a lot of the features that you do in the background. It'll save your battery throughout the day, which is why I like turning that on, especially at weddings. I absolutely need that. Uh, they also have an option of calendar. Uh, so if you want to go to calendar and say, choose what calendars you want to see. Well, the only calendars I care about when I'm at a wedding is my wedding calendar. So I'm going to add that on there. So only that, only that calendar is going to show up in that focus mode. I go to messages and filter people by list if you really want to do that. Um, I don't usually do that. And you can see you can do dark mode, silent mode. I definitely do that one, silent mode, especially when I'm at weddings. I absolutely want that on. Uh, and that is pretty much set up. And you can go back and customize and change this later. But now my focus mode is complete. I'm, I'm finished. So now if I go back to the main screen, all I'm going to do is swipe, turn on my focus, and I'm going to turn on my personal. And now it has a customized desktop just for me, 
Now, this is the desktop I want. Now, your dock stays on the bottom as normal, but your main screen up here, everything changes on there. And you can go to edit your pages. So you can edit and add more. So if I want to do uh, a weather widget, add that here. If I want to go back and I want to re-edit this page, I just hold my finger down, and now I can go add another widget. So I'm going to see, I want to search YouTube maybe while I'm there. So there is so this widget now has changed. So now if I go back to personal and I say I'm turning it off, now it's back to my normal page. And if I switch it back on, focus mode, personal, and now it's back to that one. So you can see you could customize your your basically your whole phone, your whole iPad. If you just go through this and edit it, it's really a powerful tool, especially if you want to change notifications around for certain reasons. Um, I think this is such a very powerful feature. It hides a lot of the stuff, and you can have a customized different desktop or different homepage depending on what focus mode you're in. So definitely take advantage of this. I think focus modes are, are a really powerful tool. Uh, and, you know, go in there and learn some more. So if you go in there, you can see you have so many different options you could choose from. Uh, like even if I turn my wedding on. Now, something to keep in mind, the changes I did on the my desktop here on my my iPad will not update on my phone. So obviously with the iPad, the, the layout is different with iPad OS compared to iOS. So this layout I just created here will not change. However, if I went to my iPhone and I went to the focus mode, I would see like notifications turned off. I would see focus filters. So there are things that will uh, change, like as far as notifications for apps, people, that'll be their focus filters. But as far as the customized screens, that will not be the same on your phone and your iPad. You will have to customize them on your own. So just make sure you're aware of that. So I hope you enjoy this video let's look into focus filters we'll go through this customize it yourself make something really fun and i hope you guys got a lot out of this video but i love every single one of you